what is up guys it has been quite a minute i hope i don't want to show you too much back there because you already know what's going down uh but yeah by the title of the video and what looks to be new rims in the back uh i did get new rims i'm not gonna show you guys yet until i install them which will be a couple days maybe because i had to order the I had to order uh, certain lug nuts for the rims um, so in that case I'll see you guys I guess in a couple days or for you guys it'll just be a minute so I'll see you guys in a bit all right so one week has passed hopefully you don't see the rims one week has passed um, I did get the lug nuts for the rims. So here's the box right here with the lug nuts. I haven't even opened them yet because I just want—I wanted to wait to make the video. Um, so let's go ahead and open these up and see what they look like. Okay. All right. Ooh, yes. Got Mishimoto lug nuts. They're black, so they should have a clean finish to it. All right. Got it open. Ooh. Wow, that is so clean. I don't even want to put them on because of how clean they are. Because I know eventually over time they're going to start getting, the paint will start chipping and all that. And yeah, you know how it is. Wow, those are clean. And then you got the, the key for the lug nuts. I wonder if they're all the same. Let's see. It'd be hard to do this with one hand. Oh, yeah. So they fit all, I'm guessing they fit all lug nuts. This key fits all the lug nuts. All right, so what I found out is that these these four right here are only used for this key. So we have to make sure and put each one on each tire or each wheel. And we'll see how they look. I mean, so far these are really clean. I don't even, like I said, I don't even want to put these on the wheel because of how clean they look. But, I mean, they're going to have to go on there eventually, so let's do this. So, yeah, anyways, shout out to Mo Super for sending these lug nuts out. Uh, he, saw, he sells a bunch of aftermarket parts. I'll, I'll link them down below if you want to check that out. But yeah, I'm going to give the car a quick wash and the wheels a quick wash because they're both dirty. I'm going to be using the pressure washer. Uh, I was thinking about doing a video later in the future to show you how I wash a car and properly. Um, but if you guys want to see that, let me know. Anyways, let's get this car wash done and get these wheels all in the car. Alright, got it all cleaned up. She's gonna dry it inside the garage because I don't like drying it out in the sun. Alright, so I'm actually going to Arturo's house. I don't know if you remember him from the last video. We did the air intakes on his 370. We're gonna be actually heading out to his house to install the wheels there. Uh, sorry, I mean, sorry I've been holding off on what they look like, but I mean, come on guys, like, you gotta wait a little bit at least. Anyways, so we're gonna head to his house right now, install the wheels there, and then hang out a little bit, you know, do some stuff, whatever. And I mean, I'll update you guys from there. All right, I'm gonna give you guys a little sneak peek. So these are the new wheels. That's a tire right there. I'm not gonna show you the wheels yet, but we're about to do this side. And then we'll do the rest, but yeah. That's really aggressive. I'm not gonna show you guys the wheels yet, but I'm gonna show you till it's all done. All right, guys, big reveal. Oh, that's so meaty. Look at that. Ooh, damn. It's so. I mean, I might be. It might be a little too aggressive. Look at that. Oh my goodness. 
just from the back well you can't really tell on the camera but look how meaty that is i definitely need to get some rolling shots this once you turn to the side it looks better but if you look at it from the back you can see how aggressive it looks but look at those wheels i forgot the name oh actually it says on there rota wheels i mean it's an off brand but they do look sick so i'm trying to copy like a kind of like a volk looking type of wheel really jdm it really offsets the car because of how square it is and how square my car looks so it looks really good but yeah big reveal 18 by nine and a half and the tires are 255s 255 by 35 and 18 but yeah came out super good shout out to arturo for letting me but yeah it came out great they're basically loaded trucks right basically dude geo left without his margarita tell you what dude that's mine <laughs> That really is mine. <laughs> but yeah, super satisfied of how it came out. Uh, definitely need to get some rolling shots later in the future. Uh, we're gonna start doing content with Arturo whenever he finishes his car. He's out here buffing out his car. I've been out here for five hours and just finished the clay and the fucking... But it's all worth it because look how clean it is. Compound. Oh, compound. Still gotta do the fucking polish and then the wax. But yeah, that shit's sexy, bro. Nope. We're gonna tune it later. We're gonna tune it later. Upcoming. Yeah. Watch. Next, make sure next video. You tune in. Subscribe. Yeah. Uh, all that. You know all that good stuff. Speaking of his car. Hey, what do you got done to it? So I've got. You got the air intakes, obviously. I got the race Check. Z1 cold air intakes. Yeah. I've got the Z1 test pipes, and I've got. Uh, I think it's called Auto Dynasty. Yeah. Exhaust, which is, by the way, amazing. Like, I don't think they've heard it. No, I don't think I don't think a lot of people know about it. Yeah. Like, if you go on Amazon and like look up 370Z exhaust, yeah, it is absolutely the best two hundred and forty-five dollars I've oh, ever spent yeah. in my entire life. So it was four hundred and fifty. My friend with a 2017 Sport Edition 370Z bought it whenever it was four hundred and fifty, and that shit was help selling like, you know, hot crazy. Cakes. Yeah, Hell hot yeah. cakes, right? And so he was he so he bought it a bunch of people heard about it and and um, purchased it to where they knew that they had value right yeah so they rose the price to 690 bucks and I was like oh hell no first <laughs> I'm just gonna buy like Borla or some other like you know upscale thousand bucks whatever um, and then all of a sudden I checked on Amazon and it was two hundred and forty five dollars I paid like 250 or two something like that for it and I mean it's the best thing it sounds amazing it sounds deep it sounds growly it has like this sort of like bup, 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 like if you know the camera yeah, the reflect, idle yeah, yeah the, the idle, idle just sits really so well fucking another pretty. thing is so basically they engineered it to where like it has mufflers and they kick in below 35 rpm 3500 yeah. rpm to where like when you're driving it sounds yeah. but then once you get past 3500 rpm it just kicks up to like a oh, really yeah. like yeah, I mean it's fucking yeah. dude it's well it doesn't sound like that but it, it sounds better yeah, yeah and you can hear it like you can hear the difference in the yeah. tone and how it's quiet when you start it up and yeah. drive out of the neighborhood but once you hit the freeway and you want to just slam you know floor it you can hear that and it just makes you stand out yeah there's no car you know sounds like that unless it's a 1200 1500 dollar exhaust yeah so yeah it's a z1 the z1 uh, cold air intake z1 test pipes and uh, the auto dynasty um exhaust and hopefully june 5th at 12 o'clock i will be getting that tune you guys will probably get a video june 6th yeah. maybe june we need 7th. to do a vlog yeah and we're gonna record all of it the whole thing yeah um yeah i had for the cold air intakes just so you know i had to get the whole crash bar remodified because yeah. the, the filters were so massive that they didn't fit mm -hmm. so and it said that on the instructions but it didn't fucking say yeah. that on z1 mm -hmm. websites so yeah. be careful yeah but uh but yeah i had to pay some extra cash to get it rewelded and reshaped but anyway yeah i love it i love it yeah it came out good 
Look at that ass too. Dude, that ass. Oh my bro. gosh. You don't even need a spoiler. You can just spoiler? I already have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. But yeah, that's his car. We'll be doing more some more content later on in the future. Uh, like I said, we need to do the tune and then we need to get some rolling shots. Yeah, yeah. Before you guys leave, I don't think I explained what the wheel size was. Um, so I'm running an 18 by nine and a half. It runs really aggressive as you can see. And the tire size is a 255s by 55s, which is really big. I thought I wasn't gonna fit it with, unless rolling the fenders, but I did not end up rolling the fenders. I didn't have to, unless you're gonna be dropping the car. I'm running on two inch TRD springs. So it's not as low or nor is not as high. If I turn if I turn the wheel all the way to the right or left, um, I have one inch clearance to, between the tire and the fender lining. And if you guys want to run the same spec as I am, I'll link everything down below, even the thread. I forgot how to, how you say it. The threading that goes on the lug nuts. Yeah, I'll put that down in the description. Um, maybe in the wheel size and tire size. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.